Darts isn't just about hitting high scores, it's about mastering the fundamentals that separate average players from champions. If you've ever felt like your game has stalled, or you're stuck making the same mistakes, you're not alone. In today's Darts Decoded, we're breaking down five common mistakes players make, and, more importantly, showing you how to fix them, so you can start hitting your targets with accuracy and confidence. Let's jump right into it. The first mistake many players make is with their grip. Have you ever thought about how tight or loose your grip is? It's important because your grip sets up everything. If it's too tight, it can mess with your wrist movement and make it hard to let the dart go smoothly. A grip that is too loose might cause the dart to slip, leading to random, inconsistent throws. So how can you fix this? You want to find a balance. Think about how you hold a pen. You hold it firmly enough to write, but not so tight that it feels uncomfortable. Your dart grip should be the same, secure, but relaxed, with your fingers resting lightly on the barrel. Try different grip pressures until you find one that feels just right. When you get this down, you'll notice your throw becomes smoother, and you'll have better control over where the dart goes. Have you ever changed your grip and noticed a big difference in your accuracy? Let us know in the comments. Another big mistake is not following through on your throw. Does your arm stop too soon after you release the dart? If it does, your throw can feel stiff, and the dart can lose speed or go off target. A solid follow-through keeps your throw steady and on course. Here's an easy fix. After releasing the dart, fully extend your arm with your hand pointing right at the dartboard. Visualize reaching toward the target as the last part of your throw. Practicing this will build muscle memory, making the follow-through feel natural. Once you get in the habit of doing this, you'll start hitting more accurate throws because your release will be smoother and more controlled. Now to the third mistake. Let's talk about a mindset shift. Many players focus too much on hitting high scores. It's easy to get caught up in trying to get big numbers, but this can actually have a negative impact on your game. When you're obsessed with hitting high scores, you're more likely to rush your throws or make mistakes. Instead of stressing about the scoreboard, focus on your technique. From your grip to your release, concentrate on each part of the throw and the scores will follow naturally. You'll throw more consistently when you focus on the process and higher scores will come without you even realizing it. This approach also helps you relax and enjoy the game rather than always feeling pressured to perform. Liking how these tips are helping your game this is only the start of your journey with Darts Decoded, so don't forget to subscribe. Focusing on the process also means changing up your practice routines to suit aspects of your game that need improvement. This brings us to the fourth mistake players make. Always playing the same practice games. Repetition is important in darts, but if you keep practicing the same game, you might improve your general scoring, but miss out on other important aspects. To avoid this, mix up your practice games. Try different drills that challenge you in new ways. Simulating match scenarios or practicing doubles and trebles will help you become a more well-rounded player. It's not only more fun, but it also prepares you for different situations during an actual match. The fifth mistake is very important, and it's about your mental game. Many players make the mistake of overlooking the mental aspect of darts, forgetting that it has a big role to play in their performance. If you've ever felt nervous or lost focus in a high-pressure game, it's time to start working on your mental strength. Staying calm and focused can make or break your game. One way to sharpen your mental game is through visualization. Before you throw, picture the dart hitting the target. This simple exercise can help you lock in your focus and boost your confidence. Another great technique is breathing exercises. Are you struggling to maintain focus during games? It has been proven that breathing is one of the most powerful tools for controlling nerves and maintaining focus in darts. If you want to bring yourself back to a state of focus and control, you can check out our Never Nervous Again guide. The link is right there in the video description. Taking deep, controlled breaths can calm your nerves and keep your hands steady, especially when the pressure's on. And don't forget, having a positive mindset is key. Believing in your ability to hit the target helps you stay composed and recover quickly from missed throws. 
As much as the big details are important, excelling in darts requires paying attention to the small details too. Taking note of these common mistakes will help you make big improvements in your game. Improvement doesn't happen overnight, but with each step you take, you'll find yourself becoming a more confident, consistent player and having more fun too. That's it for Darts Decoded. Five common mistakes in darts. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our guides in the description below. We also have a video titled, Three Simple Tricks to Improve in Darts, that you should check out for more tips on how to level up your game. Thanks for watching, and until next time, watch, learn, and win.